Hello and welcome to NCM Focus, Montgomery College Students News Cast. We cover a variety of stories of interest to MCM students and Montgomery County residents. We hope you enjoy today's show, even with this week's unpredictable weather. I'm Marvin Garcia. And I'm Keisha Thompson. And with us is Eliana Edmund Pierre. In the news today, the terror in Texas has come to an end. For the past month, there have been six explosions in the city of Austin with one in, in a FedEx facility just outside San Antonio. The bombs have killed two individuals and injured five more. Law enforcement used facility security cameras to identify the 23-year-old suspect, Mark Anthony Condit. They, they tracked him down in a hotel in Rock Houses, Texas. As sweat officers approached the suspect, he detonated a bomb in his vehicle, killing himself. The Austin Police Department is warning the public to stay vigilant for any more potential bombs that have yet to be found. A local Maryland man is pleading guilty to charges of concealing drug profits as casino winnings. Anthony Renault Wynn has been caught with intent to distribute one kilogram of heroin and 400 grams of fentanyl. Wynn has a minimum sentence of 10 years behind bars. He is one of, the, one of many in the government's crackdown against the opioid problem. President Trump has revealed his plan to combat the, ep the opioid epidemic. The president say it was time to stop being nice to drug dealers. He says that anything apart from targeting those specific groups will be a waste of time. Trump says that this toughness will even include the death penalty. Washington, D.C. Mayor Mario Bowser and singer Justin Timberlake are teaming up to promote March for Our Lives. March participants are hoping the march would encourage Congress to change gun laws to protect students and citizens. The march will take place in D.C. this Saturday at noon. It will start on Pennsylvania Avenue between 2nd and 12th Street Northwest. Also, a student for MC Institute for Race, Justice, and Community Engagement have organized a poster making sessions today from noon to 4 p.m and will be gathering at Saturday at the Tacoma Park campus. They will ride Metro to the march as a unified group from MC. Three suspects are still at large for assaulting a bus driver in Potomac. The bus driver told the suspects to leave because of their disruptive behavior on March 7th. As they were leaving, one of the disruptors spat on the bus driver. The bus driver then stepped outside to confront them. It was then that this, the three suspects assaulted and purpose sprayed him. The Montgomery County Police Department has just released surveillance photos of these sus suspects. Investigators are asking for your help in identifying them. For those who want to remain anonymous, you can contact the Crime Service of Montgomery County. A reward of up to $10,000 is being offered for any, anything that leads to an arrest. Animal Farm is coming up to the Tacoma Park campus in Silver Spring. George Orwell's novel is being brought to life in April at the Cultural Arts Center on Tacoma, Tacoma Park campus. Orwell's story was first published in 1945. The story reflects the events leading up to the Russian Revolution in 1917. Some say it can be a cautionary tale of the political climate they were living in today. The event will take place in April. The general admission is $10. For students, it's $5 with their MCID. If you want to know more information about this upcoming event, visit montgomerycollege.edu slash CAC. There is a great student photography exhibit on the Rockville campus. Let's take a look. Have you visited this year's photography student exhibition? The gallery is showcasing student work from the photography program at Montgomery College. The exhibit takes place every spring semester in the Media Arts Gallery in the Technical Center at the Rockville campus. This is a unique opportunity for entry-level and advanced photography students to demonstrate their skills and creativity. The exhibit is coordinated by the College Media Arts and Technology Department. Photographs by Valentina Soto and Persan Harjet are being displayed in this year's gallery. This year's show will be displayed from now into April 13th at the Media Arts Gallery Technical Center, Room 106, Lower Level, Rockville Campus. Coming up next in MC in Focus, we'll tell you about the weather, the Bray Bridge, 
Hamilton, and love, and some interesting topics indeed. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this Students Produce commercial. Some students can't buy food because they do not have the means of buying or finding food. Even so, Montgomery College is working to find a solution. Other Montgomery College students can help them. It is important to help other students because in the end, we're all relying on each other. We have arrived here, not by accident or chance, but by intention delivered. We have traveled here, not by the fog of our fears, but by the clarity of our visions. Step by step, we will climb for our dangling dreams, standing higher than uncertainty. Together, we will fight here, because we are illegal here. Hi, my name is Manuel Hubbard. And I'll be giving you this weekend's weather forecast. Let's jump right in. Today, we're looking at a mostly sunny day with a couple of clouds rolling by, accompanied by a high of 47 degrees and a low of 27 degrees. Luckily, there is exactly a 0% chance of rain today. Your sunrise is coming in at 7.07 a.m. and sunset at 7.23 p.m. As for Saturday the 24th, it looks like we're going to get a partly cloudy day with a high of 48 degrees and a low of 28 degrees. Fortunately, there's no chance of rain this day either. As for the sunrise, it's coming in at 7.05 a.m. and sunset at 7.24 p.m. And finally Sunday, we're getting another cloudy day with a high of 45 degrees and a low of 28 degrees. Yet again, there is no chance of rain whatsoever. Sunday sunrise is at 7.03 a.m. and the sunset is at 7.25 p.m. That's all I've got for this weekend. Stay safe out there and until next time. It's been a big, a big week in sports here at MC and around the region. Here's Eliana. The MC Raptors men's basketball team had a strong show out this season. They won the first game but lost the last two. They finished their season with an overall record of 26 and 9. They won fifth place in the country out of 100 Division III teams. In hiking news, the Washington Capitals beat the Detroit Red Wings 1-0, one to, one to nothing with control of Brent Connolly, scoring the game's only goal in the third period. The Washington Wizards fought hard against the San Antonio Spurs, but came up short by eight points. The score at the buzzer was 90-98. That was your sports news here at MC In Focus. I'm Eliana, Nadir, and Pierre. Thank you, Eliana. Have you told someone today that you love them? If not, now is the time. The next package will remind you of the power of love. The video is meant to introduce you to the hashtag love your challenge. We pre-released the package on Twitter and received international attention. Let's take a look. I love you. I love you. I love you. Love is hope, happiness, compassion, and kindness. A Montgomery College professor is making international headlines and trending on social media. His mission is to spread love around the world. In Professor Sabliski's sociology class, the homework is to tell a stranger, I love you. It is called the Love You Challenge. The initial idea was to create a, a nice, engaging project for my students at uh, uh, my class of Introduction of Sociology. And um, students got so invested in this project and so excited that suddenly we moved from a regular project to a social action and then in turn into a social campaign. And currently we are in 60 countries. We receive a very nice media, media coverage and uh, we are hoping that we will be able to continue this project till end of this calendar year. And. Uh, we are receiving a very positive feedback from our own community here at Montgomery College, uh, including the administration and including some of my senior colleagues. And we just do not want to waste their uh, support. The students have to say, I love you, to a stranger and post it to social media with the hashtag, love you challenge. Oh, my sister. <laughs> I love you, sister. I told them I love you. 
and he I could see in his eyes that he said it back to me I could see in his eyes that he said it back to me and he gave me this huge big hug I felt like I was one of his kids it was so amazing students say the hashtag love you challenge has changed their lives the biggest lesson they have learned is that people just want to be acknowledged. Love can change lives and love can bring hope, love can bring happiness, and love can bring world peace. The challenge is now working to get celebrities involved, and the plan is to keep spreading love to people around the world. For MC in Focus, I'm Hillary Houston. I love you! There's a lot of debate over the location of the New Bay Bridge. Skying locations are searched all along the Chesapeake for Governor Larry Hogan's third span across the bay. It is said to cost more than $10 million to build. Advocates say it will help ease current traffic and create a better link between regions and many farmers, however, opposed to the new bridge. They say that it will impact their crops with their high traffic. A $5 million environmental impact study that started in 2016 is still a few years from being finished, even so officials are far from selling on a go location. An Arizona woman was killed by a self-driving car last Sunday. The accident took place at 10 p.m. The Uber, the Uber on autonomous car was going 40, 40 miles an hour. It showed no signs of slowing down prior to hitting the woman. The vehicle did have an emergency backup driver behind the wheel. They show no signs of being impaired after the incident. Uber suspended all self-driving cars across the multiple v major cities. This incident is believed to be the first pedestrian death caused by a self-driving car. An excited Broadway musical is hitting the Kennedy Center this weekend. In the Heights, it's a story of a community on the brink of change. The show was created by Liam Manuel Miranda Mattel Ferro from Clarksburg High School will be a star in the show. And the hate is playing throughout Sunday, March 25th. 16 years old, Ferro's is definitely making his hometown proud. Meanwhile, tickets for Hamilton will go on sale on March 26th. This story is about Alexander Hamilton was also created by Leo Manuel Miranda. He has become one of the most well-known Broadway shows. It's an exciting time for theater at the Kennedy Center. DC America's Bald Eagle, Pearl Liberty, and Justice have two new additions. The first chick broke free on St. Patrick's Day. Packing its way out, the second chick made its debut Monday evening. The mating pair had been nesting since 2004 in DC. Their home is 110 feet high in an oak tree. You can find them nesting at the Metropolitan Academy Southeast. You can also find them live on your computer. Visit www.eaglescam.org. Well, thank you for joining us for another episode of MCM Focus. I'm your host, Marvin Garcia. And I'm Keisha Thompson, and thank you, Eliana, for your take on local sports. We'll be back next week for another look at the news.